In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating a simple technique for mastering the pen tool in both Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo. Now, I'll be demonstrating this in Designer, but Affinity Photo has a pen tool that works the same way. Before we get started, though, be sure to join my mailing list to receive over 200 free design templates, including logos, textures, icons, avatars, infographics, and so much more. As a subscriber, you'll be the first to receive the free templates that I send out each month. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. So to get us started here, let's say I have this image that I want to trace a vector silhouette of. To do this, normally I would use the pen tool and I would draw a silhouette going around my subject, which in this example is the hot air balloon. Before I do that though, I just want to come up here to where it says use fill and make sure I have that unchecked. And then I'm going to come over here to my image layer and I'm going to bring the opacity down. And this will make it so that it's easier to see the line that we're drawing as we draw it. And then I'm going to lock the layer so that I don't accidentally click and drag to move the image while I'm drawing. Now to use the pen tool, there's various ways in which you can use the pen tool, but the easiest way to do this would be, let's say you want to draw a curved line. I'm going to draw the first line which goes around this contour right here. To do that, I'm going to click and drag to create a curved point, and I'm going to take the handle of this curved point, and I want to make sure it matches the contour of the subject that I'm tracing over, and then I'm going to release the click right there. And then I want to come over here where I want my next point to be. And again, I'm going to click and drag to create a curved line. And I'm going to drag that handle until it matches the contour of the subject. And once I do that, I want to hold my option key. Or if you're on Windows, it would be the Alt key. So I'll press the option key. And that's going to turn this node into a corner node. And now I can take the handle of this node and place it going in the direction that I'd like the next curve to go in. And then I'll just release the click. And then I'll come over here to the next section and I'll do the same thing. I'll click and drag to create a line, make sure the contour matches the subject. And once I have it where I want it, I can press my option key and then move the handle over to the next section of the curve like that. And then release everything. And I could just repeat this process going through without having to make any kind of edits. And this is the most efficient way to use the pen tool because it allows you to trace everything accurately in one go around without having to go over to the nodes tool. Now, if you do have to go over to the nodes tool, there is a handy little technique that Affinity allows you to do. What you can do is you can hold your command key, or on Windows it would be the control key, and while you do that, it gives you a temporary nodes tool that you can use to adjust the nodes that you've drawn so far with the pen tool. So let's say this placement is a little off. I could take this node and move this in like that. I can adjust the placement, and then I can adjust the contours of these handles. And I could do the same thing. If you notice, I didn't quite get this right, but I could just hold command and do this. And as you can see, as I do that, it's changing the contour of the line without messing up the line that we've already drawn. Now, let me go back up here. Now, to continue drawing the line, all I have to do is let go of the command key and continue drawing again like this. Now, you can see what happened here. This is a curved line because I forgot to hold the option key while I drew, while I made that last anchor point, but that's okay. We can hold the command key to go back to, to the nodes mode and then hold the option key and take this handle and turn this into a curved or a corner node like that. And again, I'm gonna hold my command key. Whoops, I messed up there. If you mess up like I just did right there, just press command Z and it'll take you back in time. And then I'll just hold my control key and now I can do that just like that. So let me go through here and draw this some more. I'm going to draw the next node over here like this. Now, one thing I wanted to point out, if you want to take a corner node and turn it back into a curved or a rounded node at any point, what you could do is you can hold your command key to get back into nodes mode, and you could take the handle of the node and then just bring it until it matches until it's parallel with the other handle on the other side. And you'll notice it snaps in place and turns into a round node. And if you release the click, now you can, if you release the click, now you can click on it again and you'll have a rounded node like that. That wasn't what I'm going for though, so I'm just gonna press Command Z to undo that. And then I'll continue drawing my lines going around the subject here. And now that I've connected it back to the starting point, we have this rounded end here because this is the first node that we drew which was a rounded node so i'm going to press command and then option and take this handle and just move this in like that and now i can do the same thing over here again making sure you're holding command the whole time 
Otherwise, it's going to take you back into pen mode, which you don't want. And now if I zoom out, I can color this in with a fill color and you can see it's a pretty accurate tracing of the subject that I was trying to create a silhouette of. Now let me show you an even easier way to do this if that last method was a little too advanced for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the tool settings mode and I'm going to choose this option right here that says polygon mode. I'm only going to draw straight lines while I do this. So the easiest way to do this would be I'm going to click right here to place a point. I'll come over here, click again to place another point, and then I'll come over here, place another point, and then another point. And at any point, you can hold your command key or your control key on Windows, and then just move this line to shape the contour however you need it to be. And this is a lot easier if you don't want to memorize all of those other keyboard shortcuts that I was showing you. So I'm going to hold my command key and just move this around. And again, if you want to adjust the handles, just click on one of the nodes while holding the command key and you'll get the nodes that you can use to adjust the contour of the line. I'll do the same thing over here. That one looks good already. And this one's a little off the mark, so I'll adjust this one as well. And now I can continue drawing my line. All I have to do is let go of the command key. So I'll click here to add another point. I'll click here to add another one. And once again, I'll use my command key and then just click and drag the line to adjust it as needed. And one final thing I'll point out over here. If you notice, this line needs to be a little more fluid. It looks like it juts out a little bit down here. To fix that, I'm going to hold command and click on this node. And I want to make sure that this handle is running parallel with this other handle. So I'll just move this in like that until it snaps into place and becomes a rounded handle. And I'll do the same thing over here. I'll click on this one and I'll just shape this one until it matches. Well, this one doesn't have a handle on the other side. So I'll just make sure that the, that the direction of this handle is parallel to the direction of this path right here. And you can ensure that by holding your shift key. And there you go. We also have another accurate tracing. So this is an even easier way compared to the first method that I showed. So that is how you can go about using the pen tool in both Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.